Okay, Honors Algebra 2. This is a short little video for explanation on what are called general answers. Okay, now we have seen that we can get, whenever we work under the restriction of 0 to 360, sometimes we get more than one answer. So let's say we get a reference angle of 60 degrees in the first and the third quadrant. So that means between 0 and 360, we have two answers, 60 and 240. Okay. Now, what you want to recognize here is, what's the difference between 60 and 240? Well, it's 180 degrees. We can see that over here. They make a straight line. Okay. So instead of, think of it this way. So instead of listing two answers, so that second answer of, as, of 240, what's another way we could represent 240? Well, we could say it's our first answer, 60, plus 180 degrees. Okay. And this kind of represents both answers in one. That's both of those answers in one. All right. Now here comes the, the kicker. We could just continually add 180 degrees. We could add 180 degrees, we land on that answer. Add 180 again, we'll land back on our 60. Add 180 degrees again, we'll add land right on our 240. So you get the idea. So we could actually... Add 180, we say we can add 180 degrees k times where k is any, any integer. All right. Now, integers, just to refresh your memory, all the tick marks on a number line. Okay. So, what I just drew over there in blue, those were positive integers. Now, we could subtract 180 and go that way to land on that 240, subtract 180, subtract 180, keep subtracting 180. So, we can go either direction. Whenever we let k be an integer, then we're representing adding or subtracting 180 and moving in either direction. So what we call it a general answer for this would simply be, we wouldn't list 240. We would say 60 plus 180k. And then k can be any integer. Now if we're in radians, then our 60 degree reference angle is pi over 3. And we would say, again, look how they make that straight line. We would say, what's the difference between pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3? Well, it's 3 pi over 3, which is pi, which is our 180 degrees we just talked about. So we would do the same thing here to get a general answer, but only we're doing it in radians. We would say, we're going to start with pi over 3, and we're going to add pi. When we do that, we'll get our 4 pi over 3. But we could add or subtract pi multiple times, so we say pi times k. And again, our k is an integer, so it could be positive or negative. If you can't see that down there, that's pi over 3 plus pi times k. Again, where k is an, an integer. All right, we've also seen where sometimes we can get an answer in all four quadrants. So let's say we have that 60 degree reference angle in all four quadrants. So that means in the restriction of 0 to 360, we would have those four answers. Now we just saw how we can go from 60 to 240 by adding 180. So we can take care of those two answers by seeing, saying simply 60 plus 180K. Now what about, and over here on our drawing, we see how those make a straight line. Well, we can do the same thing with 120 and 300. We can say, hey, if we just add 180 to go from 120 to 300. And those two make a straight line. And of course, our K value can be positive or negative integer, so we are also subtracting. Whoops, so why, why did I say 300? Plus or minus, or plus 180K where k is a positive or negative integer, so that takes care of adding 180 or subtracting 180 all of those times. So these answers are under no limitation, so that eliminates this restriction altogether. This, these are actually all your possible answers. All right, so now remember, when we did, a, say, a sine curve, we did one period. And let's say we were looking for where it was equal to a half. Well, that's twice right there and there. Let me change colors. And we had two answers for that. But we've got to remember that sine curve continues in this direction. So what, what happened? Two more answers. 
and then they would continue to go in that direction. You keep getting two more answers, two more answers, two more answers. Same thing happens going this way. There's two answer, more answers there by subtracting to get there. In the same way, there's two more back that way. Whenever we found our answers from 0 to 360, we were only finding those answers, those two answers right there. These answers represent all the possible answers. All right. Now, this little example for the sine curve is not for that drawing, but you get the idea. There's multiple answers out there, and these general answers find them all or represent them all. Now, if we were in radians, of course, that reference angle will be pi over 3. And we saw in the previous example how we can go from pi to 4 pi over 3 by adding pi or adding that 180. So we take care of those two answers by saying pi over 3 plus pi. Okay, I start at pi over 3, I add pi, that takes care of those two answers. Same thing happens here from 2 pi to 5 pi over 3. We're adding 3 over 3, which is 1 pi. So we would say 2 pi over 3 plus pi takes care of those two answers. All right? So instead of writing four answers, we only have two of them. Now, if we take out the restriction of 0 to 2 pi altogether, we just simply say, well, we'll add pi k times on both of these or subtract pi k times because k could be a negative number, negative integer. And this represent, these two answers here represent every possible answer. Whoops, marker's going haywire. Every possible answer to that problem. Those are called general answers. Now there's one more example I want to show you here. Let's say our reference angles are all 45s. So in the first quadrant we have a 45 degree answer, second a 135, there it is, 225, 315, all the way around. Now, let's count this off in degrees. If, if, these, if that's 45 and that's 45, there's 90 degrees in between those two. These two are 45, there's 90 degrees in between those two. If that's 45, this would be 45, that would be 45, you're getting the idea here. Notice how there's 90 degrees between all of them, okay? So yes, I could come down here and say the difference between those two is 180. But there's a better way to do it. I could say the difference between those two, all i got to do is add 90. And then go from 135 to 225, add 90. And then go from 225 to 315, add 90. So how can I represent all of these answers into one answer? I would say 45 degrees plus 90 degrees K times. That would be the general answer, again, between, or excuse me, if we take away, let me back up. If I say I'm adding 90 degrees to 45 each time to generate those, and if I take away, take away this restriction, we could add it k times, and we would just keep generating all the other plus 90s in this direction. And since k can be negative, we would generate all the minus 90s in this direction. Okay, this would be our general answer. So in radians, it wouldn't be 45, it would be pi over 4. And we could say from here to here, we are adding 2 pi over 4. And you do that every single time, you add 2 pi over 4. Well, what's 2 pi over 4? It's pi over 2, which is our 90 degrees. So how do we represent all of these answers? We say, well, we start with pi over 4, and we add pi over 2. And in this case, we would add it 1, 2, 3 times, and we'd get all four of those answers. But what if we take away that restriction? Well, we'll just add it k times. And that would in then include adding pi over 2, adding pi over 2, adding pi over 2 in that direction, and subtracting pi over 2, subtracting pi over 2 in that direction, because k can be a positive or negative integer, and this would be your general answer. Okay, so hopefully this helps with your homework today. There's one more example of these in the, um, in the notes. Okay, hope this helps.